legal efforts are ramping up in California, and now former Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger has a new warning for Governor Gavin Newsom. After Newsom recently called the recall a Republican power grab, Arnold responds saying, quote, this is the crazy thing here. When they say it's a power grab of the Republicans, let me tell you, the California Republicans couldn't even get anyone elected. It's ludicrous. The Republican Party doesn't exist. These are the signatures of the ordinary folks that have signed on. Tommy Lear and Leo Terrell are here with reaction. All right, Leo, uh, it sounds like uh, Schwarzenegger knows of what he speaks, having been brought into office as a result of a recall nearly two decades ago. What do you think? This is the first time, Judge, I agree with the Terminator. Gavin Newsom has tried to characterize this as a right-wing, racist move to get him out of office. He's lying to himself. This is Democrats, Republicans, Independents who are sick and tired of Gavin Newsom shutting down California. This was the first time, Judge, I wanted to leave California. When Californians look at Florida and Texas, they see the economy open. They see their kids going to school. And Gavin Newsom, the biggest hypocrite, goes to the French Laundry restaurant, lied on national TV, said his kids are in, in, in do, being homeschooled when they were in fact in private schools. This guy is incompetent to run the state of California. He should be recalled. I want to apologize to America because California has given you Gavin Newsom, Nancy Pelosi, and Kamala Harris. I apologize. Okay, Tommy, what say you? Hey, listen, I actually fled California a year to this date because unlike Leo, I understood I have to get the heck out of here. But you know what? Arnold Schwarzenegger is exactly right. These are average Californians from both parties who are saying, hey, listen, this state is being run into the ground. This is going to hell in a handbasket. And they realized it because of coronavirus and COVID. And they realized that their governor was a tyrant. But make no mistake, he's been a tyrant for years. And they've had Democrat tyrants for years. The state of California was in bad shape long before coronavirus with the homelessness, the drug epidemic, the taxes, the regulations, a gas tax. I mean, my goodness, the state was failing before and then coronavirus came in and then he really got to be the tyrant dictator he always wanted to be. And Californians took a step back and said, I'm paying for this. I'm paying these taxes to live here, to be locked in my home, to not be free. And they said, you know what? Either we're going to get out or we're going to stay and fight. So congratulations to all you Californians on both sides of the aisle that decided to stay, decided to fight. You're going to recall him. Just please, for the love of God, put somebody in that's better, that believes in freedom. Well, and, and Leo, uh, the, the, there's, there's talk of a lot of candidates. We don't know what's going to happen, but the truth is that Gavin will be out. You agree, right? Gavin's gone? I, I agree. There's a, yes or only no? one. We're Gavin's sure. gone. Yes, yes. And Rick Grinnell, please run. He's the only one. Oh, you keep asking him on this show. <laughs> Tommy, he's gone, right? <laughs> Gavin's gone? I believe so. I really do. I think Newsom California just need to hold the line. They need to remember, even if their governor does open things up, even if Newsom is feeling the heat and he does start opening things yeah. up, remember, this is not just a COVID problem. Get rid of the guy. Put someone great in. Rick Grinnell, Major Williams is another right. great choice. Got a lot of options in California. Okay. All right. Leo Terrell, Tommy Laren, thanks so much. And next, my can't miss closing on teachers in San Diego. Bye.